Hi, and welcome to this presentation on how to use Google Docs for peer revision. A couple of things, what you see on my screen right now is the discussion assignment titled Definition Essay Peer Revision. And what this does is if you read through it, and when you read through it, uh, it will give you some directions. What this presentation is going to do is to show you how to do some of those things. So it will show you how to get it into a Google Doc if it's not already there. It will show you how to, to get it into the correct settings. And as a reviser, it will tell you and give you some hints as to what to do when you're revising. The first thing that we need to do is to make sure that we can respond um, to this discussion board post using a Google Doc. So to get there, I'm going to click on the NICC homepage, nicc.edu, going to click on My Campus. From here, I'm going to click on NICC Gmail. Now, I'm not going to take you to my Gmail necessarily, um, but I'll show you how to get to Google Drive from your, your NICC Gmail. So I'm going to fast forward just a little bit. When I click on this link or on uh, this screen, um, I'm already in Drive. But no matter what you're using in Google Docs, whether it's email or whether you're already in Drive, you will see this grid for the Google Apps. If you're in your email, it's the same thing. Uh, and I can access my Gmail from here. I can access my calendar, my Docs, etc. I'm going to want to hit um, Google Drive. So if I'm in my email and I see these, this grid, I'm going to hit Google Drive which is going to bring me to this screen. Now, if you've created a Google Doc, you're simply going to open up your document and wait for further instructions. For those of you who are using Word and want to get it into Google Docs, what you're going to do is hit New, and you're going to upload a file. Now, I'm going to go and find my file, almost like I'm attaching it to an email, and so I find my document, and I hit open. Now it's uploading over here in the bottom left-hand corner. When it's done, I get the green check mark. So then what I'm going to do is click on it. Now some of you will see this screen, and others of you it will open automatically as a Google Doc. It really depends on your settings. Um, so my settings right now are set so that it comes in as a Word document, not as a Google Doc, automatically. Um, some people have their settings that it comes in automatically as a Google Doc. If it doesn't automatically come in as a Google Doc, I'm going to have to click Open with Google Docs. Now, how do I know that it's a Google Doc and it's been converted? Well, when I click on this, it will show up on my screen, and it will have a blue Google Doc icon on the left-hand side of the title. So now I know that it's in as a Google Doc, which is exactly what I want. And again, some of you will have that black screen, and you'll have to click Open with Google Docs, and others of you will not. It will just come in automatically. And again, it's based completely on your settings. Once you're to this point, in order to complete the discussion board post, you need to get a link. So what I'm going to do is go over here to the upper right-hand corner, click on Share, and I want to get a shareable link. So I click on that. And I am going to click on, or, uh, yeah, click on the pull-down menu, and I have three options. Anyone at NICC with the link, so only those people with the link can edit, can comment, or can view. The one that I want is can comment. The other two, if you click on the can edit, it gives the people with the link the ability to do anything in your document. They can kind of mess around with all of the content. They can do what they want, and that probably gives your peer advisors more power than you want them to have. When you click on the Can View, basically all they can do is read it. And so what you want them to be able to do is to comment. You're going to copy the link, and it no notice that it says that it's been copied to my clipboard, so I know that I'm okay there. Before I leave this screen, I want to make sure that I share it with the instructor. And so I'm going to type in my name so that I can share it with my instructor. Clicking on the pencil, I can give them editing, commenting, or viewing rights. And what I want to do as your instructor, your instructor will need to have editing rights. So you need to click on Can Edit. The reason for that, um, the instructor won't go in and change anything. Um, but what it allows me to do is I am then able to see 
who has commented on your paper, what kind of comments they've given you, and so then I can grade your peer revisors on the quality of their peer revision. Once I've done these two things, I've copied the link and I've shared it with the instructor, I can hit send. Once I've hit send, um, it says that it's shared with the instructor, which is a good thing. I'm going to go back to my discussion board post. I'm going to start a new thread. And for you guys, this will already be done. It will say group one at the top, um, but I had to select. So I'm going to name it. And what the, the directions of the discussion board posts tell me is that I have to write down what I think my strengths are, if I can spell correctly. Um, and I'm going to pretend that I wrote down some strengths and I'm going to pretend that I wrote down some weaknesses. And then what I need to do is attach my link. This is how your peer reviewers will access your document. So what I need to do is just paste this in there. So there's my link. Once I hit post, we'll see what happens here. It gives me my post and now I can click on the document and it will bring me to the person's essay that I need to peer revise. All right, so here I am at my partner's paper. So I'm going to take off my author hat because I've completed the discussion board post, I've copied my link in there, and now I'm ready to peer revise somebody's essay. So now I'm putting on my reviser hat. Okay, so as the reviser, I'm in their essay. How do I go about making comments and fixing up their essay? Um, the first thing, that you probably will want to do is look at their discussion board post and see where they had weaknesses so that you can keep those in your head while you're peer revising because those are the things that you want to comment on. If they think that they want help with their paragraphs because they don't think they have topic sentences or they want help with their citations because they didn't do that correctly, um, you want to make sure that you can give that specific feedback to them. So what you're going to do first is keep that in mind and then you're also going to comment on anything else that you should see that needs to be fixed. What you're going to use is the commenting feature. Now I can comment in Google Docs a couple of different ways. I can left click on my mouse, I'm sorry, right click on my mouse, and it will bring up this menu and I can click on comment and I see this comment box. I simply write something in there. I hit comment and I move on to the next. The other way that I can comment is I can go up here to the bar, the toolbar. I can click on add a comment and it brings me to the same um, comment box. Um, and I just go throughout the document making comments. Whether I right click on the mouse or whether I use the toolbar, it does not matter. It brings me to the same um, comment box and I can go ahead and, and make those comments. When I'm making comments, everybody's going to be using the same document. So if there are four people in my peer revision group, the author is one of those people, so there would be three other people in on this document making comments. What can happen is it can get a little crazy because if everybody is making comments, and let's say everybody makes 10 comments, well, that's 30 comments on this paper uh, or on this essay. And so you don't want to be making the same comments as two other people have already done. And so if you have a new additional comment to make, that's great. You add that comment in there. If it's a comment that you really think needs to be hit home and you really agree with what the first or second person um, had put on the essay in terms of a comment, if you really, really like this word choice, um, if you click on the comment, another box will show up. And this would be maybe partner number two. Um, and I make the comment and I hit reply and then what I will see is that two people have made that same comment. And rather than making this, the, the second comment twice, maybe what you're going to want to do is provide them a, su a suggestion. You know, so instead of revise this, um, maybe you will give them the revision or give them a suggestion for revision um, or add on to this. So maybe I want to avoid the use of the you pronoun or maybe I want to tell them 
don't repeat the question. Okay, so those are my two suggestions. I hit reply. So I didn't I didn't necessarily repeat the comment. I just added on to it. So I would really consider thinking about doing some of those things um, within your commenting powers. Um, as the author, if, you know, Michelle said to revise this and you want to reply back and say how, uh, it's a really cool way to have kind of a real-time conversation about your paper, which is the really cool thing about Google Docs and the functionality of it. Now you will be able to see who is on by this green um, cursor. So you'll be able to tell who's on your paper, where they're at in your paper, uh, in terms of wherever their cursor is, that green um, line will show up and every author will be a different color. So that's kind of a cool thing. So that's the commenting feature. That's the ability that you've given your peer revisers and that's what you want them to do. You want them to peer revise your paper by commenting and making all kinds of comments. What I would say is that um, if you have grammatical changes, I would suggest commenting rather than writing within the document of uh, within the document itself. First of all, uh, if it's set into editing mode and you have these rights, um, anything that you delete, it disappears completely and you don't want that to happen, which is part of the reason why we have only the can comment um, function. Now I'm assuming because this is my document, um, I have more options. I can do the suggesting mode. If you have the can comment, I don't believe you have that kind of power, but this is just something I'm going to show you because it's kind of a cool thing if you want to do revision on your own and you give other people editing rights. If you click on the suggesting mode, what happens, and when I talk about track changes in Word, this is similar to that. Um, what happens with the suggesting mode is if I delete something, there's a strike through that happens. And if I add something in, um, it will look a little different. It's not in a strike through, um, but it does put the, the brackets around on the top and the bottom. Over here on the right hand side, it tells me what was done, who did it, uh, what time it was done. Uh, and so the suggesting mode is kind of a cool option if, if you send something to someone and you want them to revise and you are okay with them fixing and finagling with the the content of your essay within that. So just kind of think about that. If you get really comfortable with someone, um, maybe that's a right that you want them to have. Do not make any changes if you are in editing mode because your author will not have knowledge of that. Um, and so you want it to be in suggesting mode only. Now what do you do with all of these comments? So you're going to get this essay and it'll be in real time so you can deal with comments as they come in. You can wait and do them all on, you know, the due date or right before the due date for the final. Um, but what you'll notice is that there's these resolve buttons, this resolve button. Um, there's a check mark and an X here. Once I've dealt with the comment and let's say I've, I've read this um, and I I'm okay with it and I, I've, I've seen what they're talking about. I'm going to hit resolve and the comment goes away. It's a way for you to keep track of what you revised and what you haven't. So if I have gone through and I've decided eh, I really don't want to revise this or I've gone through and I have revised it, um, I can resolve this comment and it will go away. Now if I haven't done it yet, maybe I'm just going to keep it there. I am going to show you also while I'm here. Um, if as a reviser I make a comment and I want to edit it, I want to delete some, I want to delete the comment, I, I've changed my mind, I have that power and that's done through this, um, these three dots right here. But again, back to the writer, um, I'm done with this comment so I'm going to hit resolve. If you're in the suggesting mode, um, if I accept this change, that means I want to keep it, I want to change um, and get rid of experience and, and put in years, I hit the um, accept suggestion. If I want to reject it, I don't really think that it's the change that I want to make, I hit reject and it goes back to normal. All right, so now last step, for those of you who did this as a Word document and you are ready to submit it as a Word document for Brightspace purposes, you are going to hit file, you are going to download it as a Microsoft Word document, and it will pull up down on your, your downloads at the bottom of your screen and then you can save that wherever you want to and upload that back um, when it comes time to turn in the final essay. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, I appreciate those questions and I look forward to hearing from you.